This video is for more angle relationships. So we're going to keep looking at the same types of angles that we've been looking at for the past couple of days and just practice some more. First, we're going to look at same side, exterior, vertical angles, and supplementary angles. So inside your foldable at the top, these two angles are same side exterior angles when they lie between the two lines and on the same side of the transversal. So they're going to be on the same side of the transversal, and they're both going to be um, outside the parallel lines. So these two and these two would be same side exterior. So two angles are vertical angles when they lie across from each other. So they're diagonal. So you'd have to draw a diagonal line. So all of these are examples of vertical angles. So same side exterior angles are supplementary. So let's go ahead and solve for supplementary angles. So they're going to add up 6x minus 10 plus 2x minus 10 is going to equal 180 degrees. So if we solve for x, we go to y equals. So we've got 6x minus 10, and then down here we would have 2x, sorry I messed that up, 6x minus 10, we're all together, plus 2x minus 10, and that's going to equal 180. So we graph it. And then we would do second trace five. And here I get an x value, x equals 25. So here, x equals 25. The so vertical angles are congruent, so they're going to be equal to each other. So here I'd have, um, I believe that's an r. Let's use it x, though. 3x plus 2 is going to equal 59 degrees. So back to my y equals 3x plus 2 equals 59. And then second trace 5. So here I get x equals 19. All right, supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees. So that means if I add these two up, these are two supplementary. So x plus 103 plus 83 plus x, they're going to equal 180 degrees. So x plus 103 plus 83 plus x is going to equal 180 degrees. So second trace five, and here I get x equals negative three. And then down at the bottom shows you all the different supplementary angle pairs that you'll have when parallel lines are cut by a transversal. So all these locations here are where you're going to have a supplementary relationship. Now on your second page, we're going to look at corresponding angles, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and same side interior. So up at the top here, two angles are corresponding angles when they are on the same side in the same position. So the X's here are corresponding, the Y's here are corresponding, the Z's here. So it looks like you took this X and you just slid it straight down. Okay. So two angles are alternate interior angles when they lie between the two lines and on opposite sides. So you can see that the X's here are inside the parallel lines, but they're on the opposite side of the transversal. The same with the Y's here, inside but on different sides. So if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. So I know that these two angles are corresponding, so I can set them equal to each other. So 2x minus 3 equals 65. Oops, sorry. Okay. 
and then second graph five, I get x equals 34. The next one says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent. So that means that these two angles here are also going to be congruent. So I have 124 equals 3x plus 16. So 3x plus 16 equals 124. So second trace, and I get x equals 36. All right, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, alternate exterior angles are congruent. So that means that the two angles they have listed here are congruent. So I can set them equal to each other. All right, so 5x minus 30, 4x plus 2. I get x equals 32. All right, the next one says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, same side interior angles are supplementary. So if they're supplementary, if I add them up, 3x plus 4 plus 2x minus 9, they're going to equal 180. So 3x plus 4 plus 2x minus 9, they're going to equal 180. And I get x equals 37. All right, so two angles are alternate exterior angles when they lie outside the two lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. So again, these are both outside um, of the parallel lines, but they're on different sides of the transversal. And then two angles are same side interior angles when they're inside um, the parallel lines, but they're on the same side of the transversal. So that is it for these notes.